Welcome to the new section, Executing functions in parallel with parallel streams and futures. We will start with learning about callable tasks and futures. This video will be mostly a demo showing how to create a task and get a future object holding its result. In this demo, we will be ordering a pizza for pickup and doing some other tasks at the same time. I have this code where printouts represent different steps. Imagine I'm ordering a pizza at a restaurant. To prepare a pizza, they slice tomatoes, chop onions, mushrooms, whatever. Then they bake it, and baking can take a while. As a result of all these steps, the restaurant will create a pizza object. At the same time, I have my own plans for the evening, which include calling my brother, walking the dog, and finally eating my pizza. This code executes all these steps sequentially, but we can optimize it by running the restaurant part in parallel. To do it, let's create a task returning a pizza. We do it by implementing the callable interface. It is a functional interface, therefore we can use a lambda. Now let's move the restaurant steps inside the newly created task. To arrange execution of this task in parallel, I will submit it to a thread pool. I will skip the details about the thread pool for now, because we will talk more about it in the next video. And the pool will create a future object for the given task. One last and the most important step is to get the pizza. We do it by calling the get method on the future object, pizza pickup order in our case. The get method waits, if necessary, for the computation to complete and then retrieves its result. Let's run our pizza task and see what happens. We see the debug messages from the restaurant and from me, and they are executed in parallel. Finally, the pizza was created successfully, and I can enjoy my pizza. Because the get method on the future waits for the computation to complete, we can check if the state of the task is done before calling get, not done in our case. Here, the task was not done when we called the isDone method and it allowed me to do other tasks instead of waiting on the pizza pickup order, our future object, to complete. Another interesting operation on the future object is cancel, which of course cancels the task. Because the order is cancelled, no pizza will be created, and therefore the get method on our future object will throw an exception. We can check the state of this task with the isCancelled method. And we have a debug output from inside the isCancelled block, and after that we have a cancellation exception, because we didn't remove the get call. In this example, a task returns a result, pizza. But do we always need to return a result? The answer is no. If a task doesn't return a result, it should be implementing the runnable interface. Working with a runnable is very similar to working with a callable, with the difference that our future object will not be holding any result. And the get method will return null. In this video, we implemented tasks. A task can either be a callable or a runnable. Both of them are functional interfaces, meaning that they can be implemented with a lambda. Then we submitted the created task to a thread pool, which returned a future object. A future object is like an envelope which holds a result. We can obtain the result with the future.get method. If the task is complete and the result is ready, then we will get it instantly. Otherwise, we will need to wait until the result is ready and it can take a while. 
we can check the status of a future by calling the isDone method, which will return true if this task completed successfully and also if it was cancelled. Tasks can be of two types, and we work with both of them. A task can either implement a callable interface, in this case, after executing its operations, it returns a result, like the dock on the left. Callable scroll method can also throw an exception. Or a task can implement a runnable interface. Then it just executes some operations and does not return a result.